Hello everyone, if you're using DaVinci Resolve and you've already purchased some plugins such as Transition and you wonder how you can actually install them, fret not, today I'm going to show you how. So if you're a Windows user, you can just refer to this path. For me, I'm actually using Mac, so I'm only going to focus on teaching how to install to those Mac users. So basically, please remember to select the transition file and copy it and go to Go, Computer, Macintosh, Find Library, and then you can go to the application support and find Blackmagic Design. If you don't really have this file in this folder, that means you are actually using an older version of DaVinci Resolve, which is DaVinci Resolve 16 or 15. And some of the plugins, like the transition plugin that I'm using, requires the later version, which is 17th. So after you've updated your DaVinci, you can go to the DaVinci Resolve folder and you can see there's a lot of stuff here. You just need to find Fusion. If you cannot find this folder over here, that means actually you have not started your DaVinci Resolve 17th. So please remember to start your DaVinci Resolve 17 and maybe create a timeline or something. This photo will automatically show itself and then you go to Templates, Edit and Find Transitions. The same thing goes for titles, generators, effects. So actually for transitions, you just copy the folder here. Once you're done, just start your DaVinci Resolve or DaVinci Resolve Studio. And if you're creating a new timeline, you need to drag videos to your media pool and do a new transition and then after that remember if you are creating for transitions you need to shorten your clips to create enough room for the transitions to happen if not the transition won't take place and then you go to the transition and find fusion transitions scroll down and maybe take a little short preview of various transitions and drag a transition that you like place it on to your timeline between your clips. If you want to make the transition a little bit longer, you need to trim your clips a little bit more to create more room and then lengthen the transition and that's all you need to do. And you can hit play and have a quick view on how the transition is actually looking. And if you are unsatisfied with the length of this transition, you can actually shorten it by just dragging the transition to a shorten duration and that's all you need to do and for some transitions for example mine offers a lot of customization and you can go to the inspector and find transition and edit accordingly so mine allows me to uh, decrease increase shake speech shake strength motion blur contrast brightness saturation i can edit on my own preference and then Yep, that's all I need to do and I can hit play and watch it again. That's all for today's video. If you have any question, just drop me a comment and thanks for your support. Bye bye.